In this video, we will show how to make an offline copy of an Adobe Connect recording. You can either access the information page for the meeting by entering the server just by logging in, or from within a room that has the recording from it, you can click on the meeting menu, and as long as you are a host, you'll find the Manage Meeting Information menu item, which will take you to the information page for that room. Now, on the right-hand side of the list of I items here, we have Recordings. So we can locate the item we're trying to make a copy of, and here it's the Login and Out. I will click on log in and out, which will take me to the information for that particular recording. I don't want to begin the recording. Instead, I'll notice that the duration is one, uh, one minute and 18 seconds, and I will click on the Make Offline copy of this. This opens up the recording, but in a screen capture routine, where I have a note that the offline recording will be made. They recommend making sure the screen resolution is plenty big enough, and that you don't want to expose the recording controls, you don't want a lot of things happening in the background, and you don't want your screensaver happening in the midst of it. Now we'll proceed with the offline recording, and we get to uh, specify a name and a location for this, and it'll be saved as a flash video file. Now it plays the recording, captures it, and at the end of the recording you end up with an FLV that you can download and play in the... So it, so it actually is playing back and we are hearing it. It's in real time, so it'll take a minute and 18 seconds. If you have a video that's an hour long, it'll take an hour for this to capture the offline FLV. But when it's done, it will stop and it will give you an FLV that you can uh, then upload. One other thing you can do is edit the recording, and if you edit the recording, that allows you to trim the beginning and the end off, or trim part of the middle of the recording uh, using these using these triangle bars here and when you set that and save those uh, parts out of the recording you will be making the offline recording um, your recording completed and saved. That's why it popped back here. Uh, just trying to get back to the editing of the recording. Close this one here. Okay, that's about the end of the um, So here is the where we can trim off the beginning or end and clip crop and then save. That would cut off that part of the recording. Then when you make an offline recording, it'll be of the edited version, the shortened version. Thank you.